The Ethereum merge is right on track, but where are Ether's price gains? Hi everyone, welcome back to Voice of Crypto's daily news wrap where we talk about all things crypto, web 3.0 and blockchain. In today's episode, we are going to be addressing weekend's bearish blues as well as the dip in price which came for Bitcoin and Ethereum both. So without further ado, let's take a look at the global crypto market cap and how it performed. The global crypto market capitalization had fallen by almost 5% in the last one day. And this was largely due to Bitcoin's bearish price momentum. We can see that Bitcoin's price is down by over 5% in the last 24 hours. And this has majorly reflected in the global crypto market cap. That said, despite the merge anticipation and with the merge's first mainnet live, there was an expectation that Ethereum's price would note a massive uptick or at least investors would taste certain gains. However, that is not the case as we can clearly see Ethereum is down by close to 2% in the last 24 hours. Nonetheless, both Bitcoin and Ethereum have maintained above certain crucial support marks that is the 20,000 US dollar mark for Bitcoin and the 1,500 US dollar mark for Ethereum. That said, a look at the top Altcoins in the market highlighted that BNB2 following Bitcoin's bearish momentum was down by almost 2%, while XRP was down by 2%. Cardano, on the other hand, amid major ecosystem developments taking place in the Cardano ecosystem, ADA was up by a mere 0.5%. 5-7% over the last one day. However, on a short-term chart, we can see ADA gaining 1.2% in the last one hour. That said, one of the top gainers in the top 10 coins by market cap on the weekly charts was Solana. Solana's price noted quite a major uptick over the last week when Solana gained in terms of double digits. That said, the top meme coin, Dogecoin, is noting low to no momentum in terms of price as Dogecoin's price is still down by 0.2% on the 24-hour chart. On the 1-hour chart, ha hardly any gains can be seen. Before we take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum's price action, let's take a quick look at the top news of the day. One of the biggest news was coming from the Indian subcontinent where we can see the downloads of the Binance app have jumped to over 400,000 in August, which means that uh, in August there has been quite a bit of activity in the e Indian ecosystem. This um, is the highest and almost triple that of CoinDCX. This largely means that before Binance charted this, these large numbers, Coin DCX was the top in terms of downloads in a certain month. We can see the daily volumes at key Indian-based platforms are still down by over 90% since the 1% TDS took into effect since July. While uh, trade volumes are still down and with the entire Wazirex, Binance and ED Fiesco, clearly Binance has been one of the top choices in the Indian market for the developing sector. Uh, quite a few comments highlighted that India's crypto adoption could continue to grow as population is young and crypto savvy. While this isn't um, a certain research or survey, a lot of people believe that India's um, young population could be the driving force behind the wave of crypto adoption that the nation might see in the coming years. That said, Tencent Cloud and Strange Universe Technologies are set to explore the virtual space for enterprise. This largely means that Tencent, which is the cloud computing service arm of the Chinese giant, announced uh, its signing of a memorandum of understanding or MOU with the Web 3.0 firm Strange Universe Technology. The two companies will come together and host virtual reality spaces for businesses. So this again is a massive step in terms of adoption of the metaverse technology and web 3.0 technologies for businesses. Another recent report coming from Wall Street Journal highlighted that SoftBank is considering launching a third vision fund. And despite the massive losses, the Japanese billionaire 
Masayoshi Son has tried to chart a new path for the tech investment giant. How this would affect the blockchain space is something that we are still awaiting to see. Some quick news from the cryptocurrency markets were that Opera Crypto Browser has added support for Web3 wallets like Metamask. On the other hand, asset manager fund Fidelity has plans of foring into the crypto space. So now this is another major institution or business entering into the cryptocurrency space. Finally, let us take a look at Bitcoin's price chart. We're taking a look at Bitcoin's one day price chart on Binance for now. We are looking at BTC versus uh, USDT or Tether. We can see that Bitcoin has noted a major bullish momentum in the last two days this is a bullish overturn candle that we can see wherein bitcoin's price ranged from the higher 22500 level down to the lower um, 19860 level on the same day at the time of recording bitcoin's price oscillated close to um, the 20000 us dollar mark and it was uh, sort of battling with that 20,000 psychological resistance support mark that has been in play for the last few months. If Bitcoin's price is able to sustain above this crucial price level, we can expect certain uh, bullish momentum in the market to occur. However, a lot of reports in the market have highlighted that the August CPI data has triggered one of the most significant sell-offs in the US stock market in the last two years. The same has taken a toll on the cryptocurrency price trajectory that had been maintained in the last week. Bitcoin as well as other altcoins were noting a pretty decent uptick, uh, bullish uptick so to say, in the last few days. However, the CPI data release has affected not only the stock market but also triggered a sell-off for the cryptocurrency market. The Nasdaq has fallen by close to 5% while the two-year US Treasury yield also hit a new high since the 2007 uh, high and this indicates a further increase in recession risk. So will this again downplay the narrative of risky assets such as cryptocurrencies? This is something that we shall await to see as the market continues to grow. Wall Street Journal reporter Nick has uh, said that the US inflation picked up last month, giving Feds a massive reason to raise interest rates by at least 35 BPS or more at its meeting next week. Former US Treasury Secretary Summers also believes that the Fed will raise interest rates by close to 100 BPS. Um, under the expectations of a sharp interest rate brought about by the inflation data, from the interest rate market indicated that the possibilities of a 100 BPS rate strike in September has risen to 34% and the final interest rate peak may reach to 4.25% or 4.5%. This um, is what is highlighted by the CME data and we can see that the current target is uh, current target rate is 225 to 250. In turn, we can see that this has also affected the crypto market and there's unprecedented liquidity pressure. We can see that the price of BTC is back to where it was before Thursday last year, barely holding above the 20,000 mark. Interestingly, even after the slump, Bitcoin price and ETH are still higher than last week's over the same period. That said, uh, data also highlights that Ethereum's funding rate hit a record low since March 2021, driven by the Ethereum merge, as well as bearish market sentiment. In the futures market, the negative basis of Ethereum futures has deepened again, and there has been a significant gap between the basis of different exchanges. This is not really a good sign for Ethereum price and uh, this is largely due to the bearish invest sentiment which has been lingering in the market for quite some time now. With this we come to the end of our news section but before we leave we can take a quick look at the top gainers of the day and despite the bearish blues we can see that certain coins still managed to perform really well in the market and one of them was Celsius. Celsius has had quite a volatile price chart if you look at it over the last couple of months ever since Celsius's price fall it has been noting massive upticks and downticks as per the investor sentiment in the larger market. In the last 24 hours, despite the bearish market pressure, Celsius has managed to gain close to 23%. 
Second, in terms of gains on a daily price chart was Ravencoin, which was up by close to 14%. XCC token was up by close to 5% or 4.4% in the last 24 hours, while CurveDAO's CRV token was up by 2.6% in the last 24 hours. This, my friends, was all for today and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with more such updates in the cryptocurrency market and until then, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like our content and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you tomorrow with more such updates from the crypto market. Until then, bye-bye.